Hi guys, it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings and Captain Amazing and Hi. we are here for a hashtag Manic Stitching Movie Cow. A movie review. Because I don't even think Ashley's doing them anymore. So yeah, it's just kind of our thing. We're doing movie reviews. Anyone that wants to join in with us, we just watch movies. We're not doing it alphabetically. And when we're watching a movie, I'm making a square for my blanket, which I've got to find the bag with the rest of the squares in it. But the last time we did one, it was Silence of the Lambs, and y'all saw the mess that one was. But it's going to go in the blanket because we will remember what the square represents, even if it doesn't look like what it's supposed to be. Um, if y'all can see this cup right here, the Kiyoshi better leave that alone, right there. You can't see it all the way. LJ got me a Valentine mug, which I'm using today, and I'll use it tomorrow. But it's got a little dog paw where the O is supposed to be. It says love. So my little mess over here by my bed because I'm still not doing great. So I've been in my room most of the time because I get winded real easy. I did make taco soup. That's for... A, Dr. LJ's taking that's care of her. For, that's for a Finding Neva video, not the taking care of me. Anyway. He has looked up the trivia, but this one, we've watched movies before this one, but there, we'll still talk about those two. But this one, I got the square done because it was for the month of February for um, Sandy from Crochet A and Heather from the Crochet Witch. They're doing a movie marquee collab thing. And last month, if you remember, Sandy picked Silence of the Lambs. That's in my discombobulated moth came in okay and then this month was heather and i was looking real forward to it because silence of the lambs is one of my like i have some movies that i really just think are classic i would watch them every single year uh, or anyone that pops up hey i've never watched this would you watch it with me or you know what i'm saying okay that's one of those movies. Well, this one also is. And I was excited because Heather and I have a, like, she likes horror movies. So I knew, well, okay, she says not all of hers are horror, so I don't know what else we'll be watching. But I love all kinds of movies. I love documentaries, uh, true stories, ro some romance movies. I'm all over the place, just like my music. So this one, she announced it. I was so excited because it's one of my very, very faves, like, I was so in love with almost every one of these dudes hmm. in the movie looking like they looked. Okay, not the, when they... Okay, I'll just say it. It is The Lost Boys, y'all. And, yeah. <laughs> the Lost so, Boys. I did Red and Black because the marquee is Red and Black, you know, with um, the dude, with the guys on it. And then I did the sun, Michael Sunglasses. So this is going to go in our movie blanket. I love that movie. It has Kiefer Sutherland, Jason Patrick. Um, now, I don't think that... Um, Kiefer, I was never thought Kiefer Sutherland was all that good looking, except for in this movie. And not when they turn into the creepy vampire, but when they're, you know, at nighttime when they look normal. Before they eat somebody. Like, when they're not hunting, however you want to put it. Keep it to the cellar in, in this movie is attractive to me. Now, I saw him in other movies and I was like, oh, I apparently have something for vampires. But Jason Patrick was always a hottie. And I loved all of their, the long hair. Oh, yeah. I like the hairband thing. Y'all know this, I think. So, it was like a vampire hairband. Um, but... My cat found a box. I'm sorry for that noise. He's playing with the box. So, um, I love this movie. I would watch it any time of year. I would watch it with anybody. I would watch it as many times. I, oh, I really like it. Uh, Corey Haim is in it. Corey Feldman. The two Corys. <coughs> yes. Just, the Frog Brothers crack me up. That's pretty funny. I like it. They kind of make me think of my twin daughters. And so, yeah. Um... Just a very excellent movie. Very good movie. 80s vibes. 80s hair. Hair band feel with vampires. I, I don't even... Um, Jamie, is it Jamie Gertz that's in there? Is that 
The one. Uh, I don't know. Well, you're supposed to be looking up the trivia. Okay. He's falling down on the job, y'all. Well, anyway, I love her, too. Let's see. I'm pretty uh, sure it's Jamie Goods. Like, I get her mixed up with... That plays the mom or what? No, the girlfriend, the girl. Uh, Jamie Gertz, yep. Yeah. Star. I get her and Ali Sheedy, for some reason, mixed up sometimes. I think because they have the same coloring of hair and stuff. But Jamie Gertz... She's pretty. She's, she is beautiful. Um, I love that movie. I can't talk enough about it. Um, I, um... The grandpa. I want to be that old goofy grandpa. Not a grandpa, grandma someday. But that old goofy grandpa. And it's funny because he acts so, um, like, uh, clueless. But he knows what's going on. And I, the, I, I'm i sure most people have watched it, but I won't ruin it. Let's just say, well, I've probably already ruined it. So, spoiler alerts. Sorry. But the grandpa does know what's going on. Like, he figures it out. Oh, yeah. Um, I like just the kind of 80s, carefree, adding some vampires into it kind of feel. It made, it made me want to visit California, not because I want to get eaten by vampires, but because, like, I've never been, yeah, like, to the beach where there's all these performers, and, I mean, I don't even know if that really goes on anymore or whatnot, but it just looked like fun. Like, concerts out on the beach. We don't have that kind of stuff around here. Also, it came out in 87, whenever the 80s were at their peak of being yeah. 80s. 80s. He's saying that because he was born in 87. Trivia. We're going to talk about when I graduated. Because ain't that far after that. <laughs> so, there we go. <coughs> but, um, yeah. Excellent movie. Um, the mom is just the... That, the dingy mom who's really not like she's she's a single mom trying to hold it together and all this crazy's going on and she thinks her son's on drugs and sorry to tell you instead he's a vampire there you go you know and that's um right. the yeah, man that swoops it. in to try to be the her knight in shining armor and swoop her sweep her off her feet and Something off about he that fellow. Could sweep her off her feet, all right. But yeah, so I just love it all. I love that movie so much, and I think that my square did it justice. Um, it's cool. I think it's cool. I will try to remember to pop a picture at the end of the the video of the movie marquee, so you can tell me if you think I did a good job capturing. Um. You kind of got to watch the movie to understand this, why I did sunglasses too, but really I couldn't figure out much else to do with it like this, but I automatically, of course I know, oh, now he's going to fight with his I'm sister. No, not right now. I automatically know because I made the square and I watched the movie. And so there'll be years to come when I look at this, I'm going to know exactly what movie this is. So this makes me happy. Of course, I'll know the moth because this cluster, you know what? But yeah, okay. He's gonna read. She asked me what trivia. I thought of it. Oh, sorry, Mister Amazing, Captain Amazing. Okay, LJ, what did you think of the movie? I liked it, and not much actually. I knew you liked it. Yes, I didn't love it, but I really liked it. And the only thing that really dragged it down for me was how many times they said Michael throughout the movie. That's it. But it's really good, and I think everyone should watch it. Seriously, take a shot every time the vampires say Michael, and yeah, you're. And second thought, don't shake shots. Take sips of beer or water. Don't drink. Water, yes. All right, here we go. Here's some trivia. So, this was Corey Haim. Corey Haim? Corey Haim and Corey Feldman's first film together, which marked the start of a popular 80s trend, the two Corys, in which Feldman and Haim, Haim starred together in a number of teenage films. The movie was filmed in only three weeks. In the documentary Blood Sucking Cinema, 2007, Corey Haim said that all Corey Haim said that all the blood it had glitter in it to give it a shimmering effect and it was slimier than other fake blood. <laughs> Gerard McMahon wrote the theme song Cry Little Sister to the movie after only reading the script and without ever seeing a frame of the film. I love that song. It actually fits in with the movie quite well, so I'll give them that. I thought it was gonna be annoying, but it fit in super well, so 
Sam, Corey Haim, has a poster of Rob Lowe on the outside of his closet door. In the DVD commentary, Joel Schumacher says it was there because he had recently directed Lowe's, Lowe in St. Elmo's Fire. Also, St. Joel Schumacher directed Batman and Robin and Batman Forever. Just throwing that out there because that name is familiar to me. And one more piece of trivia. The name of the Frog Brothers, Edgar and Allen, are a reference to the Edgar Allan Poe, the well-known writer of horror fiction. Yes. Very good movie. Oh, check this out. Characters in the movie say the name Michael approximately 118 times. That's a lot. So there you go. That's, That's a lot of note. Michaels. That was my first boyfriend's name was Michael. Hmm. That's something. Anyway, so... Is he a vampire? Oh, then it's, it's definitely not cool. It almost it, it gives a fun vibe to to um, vampires, so it's not like a it's not a scary movie, but it's it's very entertaining. It's got all the feels of vampires without making it scary. I think it's wonderful. One of my favorite. It's way way up there as being one of my favorites. Like LJ got me the DVD because I could watch it a lot. Puts a nice so, modern twist on an old uh, legend. And here's Kiyoshi. He doesn't care about the movie. But if you, if I watch you on YouTube and you have cats, he will watch you also. He has a thing for cats on the TV. And a cartoon. He watched Doggone, huh? Yes, he watched Doggone yeah, Trouble. Doggone Trouble. He Beginning thought that end. was awesome. He watched the cartoon. So, Not much into vampire movies. Not much into 80s movies, apparently. But if you have a cat in your video... Or a cartoon about a dog, Kiyoshi will watch. Oh, yeah, Sorry will. about all the drinks. I've got like, so y'all know I'm staying hydrated. I'm not just drinking coffee. I've got a water bottle. I've got my Powerade Zero. Fluids are your friend. I've got my cup. And then I've got packing from my present I got yesterday that I will show y'all. Tomorrow I'll show you everything up close. Um, and I was going to ask you about that. But I mean, thank you. Um, I will be doing some other videos palentines i've got to catch up on i've got an announcement for my birthday i've got to do a finding neva video and talk about where my ancestry thing is is right now um all that good stuff but i hope you enjoyed this video please go check heather and sandy out sandy is making sweaters to go with the movies heather is making blankets i personally and lots of people are making different things it keeps pausing did you see that it, it stutters i don't know why it does um that. anyway i'm doing squares but heather and, and sandy also have groups lots of people are doing different stuff um i'm just continuing the movie blanket we had already started and decided to join in with heather and them um we have lots more movies to that we've watched to um to <laughs> view so gotta catch up on that i am feeling better but i still get winded very easy um i'm very tired i have a lot of <clears throat> Him. he still got a cough but we are out of the worst part of it and that's great now if we can just get to feeling better i just i'm resting when my body says rest still so out of the blue into the black uh, okay um we will see y'all again soon in another i think we're gonna do a fun video tomorrow a finding Neva video and i think we might do something together since it's valentine's day so love y'all i don't know where my okay turn it off <laughs> i don't know where i want my glasses